Chapter 6 Time well spent, boys. Vita Scaletta? Yeah. What's all this about? You're under arrest for the illegal distribution of federal ration stamps. You're coming with us. One oh, of the shit, we're going to jail. To the guy fingered me, and they strung our mama into telling him where I was staying. But they had no idea who I was working I for. I know where your mama lives. Henry was able to get me a lawyer, courtesy of his boss, Clementi. I was up Shit's Creek, but at least I had a paddle. Could have been a hell of a lot worse if the feds knew about any of my other crime activities. to be even more serious, considering the fact that you stole national resources at a time when our country needs them the most. An act the gravity of which you, Mr. Scaletta... The guy was good, but even he couldn't get me yourself. out of this one. Should it was a lost understand. cause from day one. Three months later... They handed down the verdict. Vittorio Antonio Scaletta, for your crimes against the people of this city and of this great country, this court hereby sentences you to ten years in a federal penitentiary. Welcome yeah, to hell, man. new boys. Ah, yes, yeah, me, baby. baby. That's right. Welcome to my yeah. life. <laughs> We're gonna get you. <laughs> Ooh, look at the that. federal pen. Thieves, murderers, child molesters. Oh, they were here, all boy. here. Come on, the yeah. worst of the worst. All right, get in line, hey, gentlemen. Man. Follow me, single file, and no oh, monkey oh, business, oh, or else. Well, boys, we're in prison. This is what it will be like for the next 10 years. So, like, 10 minutes of gameplay. <laughs> Let's go, assholes! You want to make problems, you son of a bitch? Uh, I'm sorry. What's the matter? No speaking to English? Here, let me teach you. What, do you enjoy this, you sick fuck? Now. Get your ass up and go back in line. <laughs> no. Whoa. Hey, smartass, don't make me repeat myself. Back in line. Move it. Damn, Bidu's getting the crap beaten out of him, dude. Right there, turn to your right. Your other right. Listen up, assholes. My name is Captain Terrence Stone, and this is my prison. You're here on the inside because you can't behave like normal human beings on the outside. Make no mistake. Your ass belongs to me now, and you'll do what I say, or you'll be sorry that you did it. Fuck with me, and I'll fuck with your sorry ass all day long! You were sent here to be rehabilitated, and rehabilitate you? We will. Okay, you assholes. We're gonna cut you loose just long enough to get you cleaned up. Now get in line and follow me. Welcome to the salon, ladies. You're gonna look just fucking beautiful. Hey, me too? I ain't got nothing on my head to cut. Shut your face, cue ball. It's a little racist, okay, isn't it? Okay, let's go. Hey, shit for brains. Do what you're fucking told. 
By the way, neither the comments you hear in this game or any way anyone's being portrayed, I do not uh, condone it. This is just the game I'm playing. I don't agree with all the stands that this game makes. Or the characters in the game, I should say. Dude, I've literally been walking forward. What do you mean, do what you told? Dude, at least it's basically a five-star hotel. Got my own bed, got my own sink, got my own toilet, got my own bookshelf. Even got a poster of a half-naked lady. I mean, let's go, boys. This was gonna be my new home for the next ten years. Look like shit and smell like piss. I would have preferred dodging bullets in Europe to this. Why didn't you just go back to the army? I'm sure the offer After three still stands. days of staring at the wall, I got a message from Joe to contact a guy named Leo Galante, who could supposedly help me out in here. This wasn't the kind of place where you could survive on your own. Leo Galante sounds like a real Italian. My lord. Bunch of rough characters in this. But that's not we can't handle, boys. Nuts. Any of these guys see the Chinese dude, we can beat his ass. See these people over here, beat their ass. See this right here, he'd get his ass beat too. That big boy, I don't know. That big boy, pretty big. You're that fucking guinea who was with Bobo in the jewelry store. I'm in this fucking hell hell because of you. You got locked up because you're a stupid, crazy fuck. <laughs> you know, fellas, my mom was right. There is a god! <laughs> and he Dude, why his arms look so weird? You guinea bastard. So that I could pay you back! Yeah, Vito, let's go! This looks interesting. Wanna make a small bet? Dude, Leo looks so old. Boys, we gotta be smart on this one. He's, a, he's kind of a badass, I'm not gonna lie. Faggots for breakfast? <laughs> Vito My man Vito got jokes boys He's got jokes Did you call me a Dago? Is that like a kangaroo? I'm more than likely wrong on that one I have no clue what a Dago is it Might just be a slang word for like Italians A lot of cops are just watching back there. Look at them. Dang it. Did you hear me? Break it out of here. Move it. We're going to give you a little time to think about what you've done. God, dude. This is like straight up abuse. So O'Neill almost took my head off, but I made a stand. Let me tell you something, when you're inside, it counts for a lot more than you might think. I mean facts, because now like, you know, small people won't try to mess with you. How long are you But now how are you in the hole? Long enough to learn his lesson. That's gonna have to change. He in any shape to fight. Should be. Boys didn't knock him around too bad after the brawl in the yard. All right, open it up. Rise and shine, Skeletta. You got yourself a visitor. My name is Leo Galante. I heard you wanted to speak to me. Yeah, uh, one of Clemente's guys said I should contact you. Said maybe you could help me out. Oh, fuck Clemente. 
I don't provide protection for his guys in here, but I saw how you handled that Mick who's after you, O'Neill. He could prove useful. Come with me, boy. His eyes actually yeah, have life to him. That's pretty like this amazing. He's gonna be helping us out. Peppy here's got a big fight coming up against O'Neill. He needs a sparring partner. But from when I saw of you out there in the yard, you're just the man for the job. You're gonna help us out, kid. In return, you'll be under my protection. And who knows? Maybe you'll even learn a thing or two along the way. I guess I can't say no to that offer, huh? I don't remember asking. All right, fellas. Let's get this show on the road. Let's get it! Okay, today we're gonna work on your counterpunching. Rito, I want you to hit Pepe. Try and bust that big jaw of his. Pepe, you avoid the punch like I showed you. Then use that momentum to throw a punch of your own. All right, fellas. Let's get going. Atta boy, Pepe. Keep that oversized chin of yours down, damn it. Oh. It's good. Whoa! Would you look at that? Hey! We supposed to be sparring or training? Change of plans, big fella. This kid's got fire in him. So now you're both gonna practice your counter punches. All right, Vito. See if you can do that again. It's a handy tool to have in the box, huh? And most guys ain't gonna see it coming. Pepe here. <laughs> he ain't most guys, though. Pepe here about to get his ass whooped. That boy don't know. He don't know what I'm made of. Ow. There you go. You're a fast learner, kid. All right, fellas. That's enough for today. Nice work. So how close did you get to Clemente, Vito? Actually, I never met him. I always dealt with either Henry Tomasino or Luca Garino. Huh. I can't believe that cocksucker Garino's still breathing. What was your deal with him? Uh, well, you know, we did a couple jobs for him, and, uh... Luca said he'd bring us into the family for, uh, five grand. What? Typical fucking Alberto. He's always been a crooked bastard. Uh... So what is that, like, more than usual? Yeah, like five grand more than usual. You don't gotta pay to get in, Vito. You're brought into the family once you prove that you're loyal, a good earner. And he can handle, well, you know, the life. In any case, this is an interesting piece of news. When this gets out, Alberto and Luca are going to have a lot of explaining to do. Do? Oh, jeez. Don't worry about that. We'll talk about it some other time. Watch where you walk, Guaylo. Maybe if your eyes were all the way open, you would have seen me coming, asshole. Galante. Crooked white devil. Nice to see you too, Mr. Wu. Crooked? You bet on your own guy and he lost. That's the way it works in this country. Then Wu offer you rematch. I think I can arrange that. You up to it, Vito? Chinaman, huh? Yeah, get him a stepladder and send him over. All right, Wu. Looks like you got yourself a rematch. And none of that chop suey. To Vito with time. the burns. Now listen. Chop suey crap. Huh? No point in throwing big punches early on. You'll never connect. All right. What am I supposed to do then? You hit him quick and tire him out. When he's weak, he'll put his guard down. Then you swing for the fences. Now get out there and show him what you're made of. Hey, does Vito get a fortune cookie after eating your guy for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> I hope I get a fortune cookie, dog. I don't know, they're in prison. Uh, I don't think you'd have them in prison, so I'd hate to see where they had to hide them to get in. Yeah, he don't want none, boys. Boys, let me just tell you, he don't want none. Yeah. Dude, Vito beat any Chinaman. That's big facts. Big facts. Come on, dude. Just throw a punch so I can just counteract. Come on, come on. Bam. Broken neck. Screw your tiger style.
Let's go, Scaletta. You're late for work. Wait, we just got out of the cell, though. How, how am I late? Hey, listen. Vito here's got the day off, courtesy of Mr. Galante. Gotcha. Don't get used to it, Scaletta. All right. Come with me, Vito. What, are we gonna train some more? Uh, sorta. You'll see. <laughs> He's got another fight for us. I already know it. He has another fight for us. We'll see what it Boy, is, boys. We can accept any challenge Leo throws. Want no training today? Not exactly. We got a challenge from the spooks, and I don't want to risk Peppy getting all banged up before this big fight with O'Neill. So I want you to take this one. It'll be good practice for you. Come on. Now, the guy you're going to be fighting is a strong bastard. Dude, that's a huge rat. Not too bright. Fights with his heart, not his head. You piss him off, you lower his guard. That's when you let him have it. All right, here we go. Make me proud, Ooh, kid. Looky here. I'ma take this skinny ass white boy to school. Gonna hit him so hard his mama's mama gonna feel it. Hope you meatballs getting ready to lose. Or come on, my grandmama hit me hotter than that. Hey, win or lose, it'll probably be the hottest. Why'd your grandma hitting you? Oh, he countered me. He countered me. But he caught the counter. We're kind of all bumps here. We're kind of all in jail. Now, Vito, grab him and finish him off. Now's your chance, kid. Knock him in the next. Don't worry, Vito. You got him right where you want him. Dude, he just got knocked in the next week. That's big cap. Hell of a job, kid. Hell of a job. Here's your cut, Vito. You earned it. Yo, Wait, I'm running cash in here? Oh, what are the hacks? Some kind oh, of cop. circle jerk? All right, come on, Scaletta. You got a visit. Probably. In some way, some form, it's probably a circle jerk. Let's be honest here. Hi, Vito. Hey, Frankie. How you doing? I'm doing good. Real good. Thanks. So, uh, how's things? Well, I, I got something to tell you. I'm getting married, Vito. Oh, Maron, that's great. I mean, it would have been nice if he asked my permission first, but... Hey, I'm happy for you. Vito, you're in jail. Look at yourself. Uh, how'd you let this happen? Hey, I already got a lecture from the judge, huh? I don't need another one. Just... Just drop it, alright? Vito, there's something else. It's Mama. What do you mean? What about her? She's sick, Vito. She's been like this for weeks, and she's not getting any better. Look, Frankie. Go to Joe's. He's holding on to my money for me. You get her the best doctor you can find. And, uh... You keep the rest as a wedding gift. Vito... No, no, I mean it. Looks like I'm not gonna need it for a while. Alright, looks like I gotta go. Uh, look, you take care of Ma. Tell her I love her. I will. And thanks, Vito. Bye. Nice guy, Vito. What a savage. Let's go, Scaletta. Those turlets ain't gonna clean themselves. <laughs> Dude, he's such an asshole. <laughs> I think we get the same guard like every time. Or at least they're all the same models. Okay, they're all the same models. Never mind. Nah, it's just funny. So, so it's gonna be a very awkward me, day. Huh? Follow me. Hey, pal, you mind? Yo, practice that shit. I don't mind. Don't mind at all. Man, you're Jesus, you're singing is the second worst thing. There you go. Here. Make them sparkle and hurry it up. Hey, pipe down now. All of us. All right, that's enough. Now you're gonna go join the rest of the animals in the showers. Get moving. All right, Scaletta, get your clothes off and get cleaned up. Would you kindly? What's the hold up here? Move your asses. 
Hey, Frankie, we got a little business to take care of here, huh? Why don't you go have a smoke? <laughs> yeah, sure. Have your fun, you sick bastards. I like your scars, pretty boy. Where'd you get them? Sorry, asshole. You picked the wrong ass to drill. We can do this the easy way, or the hard way. Your choice. I got a better idea. Why don't you go fuck your buddies instead? Or better yet, go fuck yourself. Okay. I guess you want it rough. What the fuck did I just watch? Do that again, sweet cheeks. Oh, this guy's a fighter, huh? Oh. Dude, this boy, this boy's gonna get knocked out real quick. Hurry watch, up, next punch, knockout. Boy. Bam. Okay, maybe I was wrong. This punch right here. Knockout. Bam. Yes, sir. Why'd the other dude run? Like I just saw him at the corner of my eyes. He ran. Come on, come on, bro. Hey, hey! Whoa, whoa! What the hell's going on? Where's Frank? Dude, why am I getting in trouble? I almost just got raped. Come on, boy, you know the drill. Oh, and uh, this came today. Might want to read it. Looks important. Mama died while Francesca was visiting me. Instead of going toward a good doctor and a wedding gift, every penny I had went to the funeral. And that's why I bought so much crap before we went to jail. Mr. Galante wants to talk to you. Come with me. Good to have you back, kid. What the hell happened? It looks like the mix weren't up for a fair fight. A couple of them jumped Pepe yesterday. It was a lot more than a couple. Yeah, well, we sure as hell ain't gonna let this go. What do you got in mind? Pepe's got it all worked out. Took a little persuading, but O'Neill's all by himself right now in the gym. Guards won't be back for a while. You're just gonna give him a good beating, break a couple of bones, same as they did to me. Got it? Yeah, I got it. All right, come with me. Break a leg, kid. I'll wait out here. If the guards get back early, I'll warn you. Okay. All right, go for it. Hey, O'Neill. I got a little business to settle with you. Just the man I wanted to see. Come here, Mary. Again, harder. Oh, so that's why I beat up Pepe, so nice then we could man. fight. No guards to save you. This. Me, ma used to hit. Is that all you've got? What's everyone saying? Their grandma or their mom's hitting them harder. Like God, is this why you're in jail? Your parents just beating the crap out of you? And this dude just getting whipped. Like this ain't even really a fight. Look at that. Jesus Look at that. Like a baby. You made of? Oh, it's like beating up a baby. Than that, little girl. Oh god, he's got a knife. Oh, 
Shut the fuck up. And that's the end of him, boys. It all worked out just fine. They never found out who did it. Leo arranged for me to relocate to his cell. Well, actually, it was more like a suite. Life was getting better by the minute. So, Vito, what do you plan on doing when you get out of this shithole? I don't know. I sure as hell ain't gonna go back to work on for Clemente, I can tell you that. Yeah, you're better off just forgetting about that old bastard. Trust me, Alberto's a real cocksucker, and you can bet that lawyer he's hired was just there to make sure you didn't rot. But don't worry. You'll get his. Letting guys into your family for money like he offered you is against the rules. He's gonna have a lot of explaining to do. To who? I thought Clemente was the boss. You obviously don't know how things work around here. You see, there's more than one family in Empire Bay. There's three. Each family controls their own neighborhoods. There's a system of rules. And if there's any disagreements, the bosses of all the families meet to work things out. That's the commission. Great, so what do I do now? Am I in trouble too? No, 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 no. nothing like that. You're young, you're smart, and you've proven you can keep your mouth shut. You're exactly the type of guy everybody wants working for him. Yeah, but I don't even know who these other guys are. There's two other bosses besides Clemente. One is Carlo Falcone. The other is Frank Vinci. Carlo is young and ambitious. Yeah, the guy's a freaking nut job. He's new blood, whereas Don Vinci is a man of honor. He respects the old ways. You know these guys? <laughs> you could say that. And Frank Vinci is consigliere. You think being just a regular old man gets you all this? But listen, <coughs> you, I'm getting out in a few months. When I do, you'll see what we can do about adjusting your sentence. Pepe, come here. Have a taste. 